Do you know why we never stutter when we sing a song? And uh, at the same time, why we cannot use it, uh, use the same approach when we speak? So first of all, um, when you speak, why would you sing? It would be kind of odd, right? So, um, but when you think that it's a good approach to use when you speak, it might be right, but not entirely. And why when the uh, speech therapists try to suggest you to do this uh, like so try to try to sing right now to see how you do it right so the issue here is and the true reason when you sing first of all you know all the words right so you know all the words now when you know all the words in your mind unconsciously we breathe in enough capacity of air so we can say through or sing it through. So one reason. The second reason is because at the same time you know the melody or you have the melody right to it. You have, you know, you know the words and you know the melody and so and now the third reason is that speech is spontaneous. You never know when to breathe or I mean, when you start, let's say you breathe in or you kind of even like uh, you don't breathe in, you just start and then you kind of start catching up and then well, that's when you block. So um, now, first of all, we know the words. Second of all, we have the melody, uh, the rhythm, right? And the third of all, uh, we it's, it's an act, right? So the third of all, uh, it's an act. So words, then melody, and you have to do it. So it's something that we have to perform, right? So it's an act to perform. That's why we kind of like struggle and then we know the words, we have the melody, and that's why we do it. But um, when you speak, now you block. So this is the true reason. Uh, another thing is, let's actually compare it to reciting a poem, right? The issue now is when you recite a poem, you stutter, right? Isn't that the same thing? So basically, you know the words, you don't need a melody, and uh, um, and so you can pretty much, you can say it, right? Uh, but not quite. The problem here is that when you recite in a poem, your mind automatically switching off the action mode the performance mode, you go back to normal and your normal is not to struggle. So because when you want to sing a song, you need to perform something. But when you speak, it's not really a struggle. It's not really an act. It's just like something that you spontaneously say something, right? So um, even, even though you know the words when you recite in a poem, because sometimes you, you can say it like one line, right? And then you can inhale again and say another line. And sometimes even though you know your, you know your um, rhythm or you know your intonation or uh, you know the way to say it, but you never do the same thing again, which is different to the song. With a song, you cannot really sing the song without having enough capacity of air in inside of your breathing system. So this is why 
when you recite a poem, you kind of inhale, but you can just say one line, you can say two lines, it becomes some sort of spontaneous. So, now, and what's missing? Because actually, when you are reciting the poem, what you can do, you can concentrate that every line you say, you will say with the same intonation, like you sing a song, and you kind of, you kind of uh, can be very consistent. Say in the same intonation, uh, line, then breathe in, say another line, breathe in, say another line. That's how you kind of overcome it. But you, again, so you can't really use the same approach as you sing uh, when you speak, right? You can, you can use it when you recite in a poem. But again, it sounds weird. Why would you do that? So that's the problem. The problem is because um, what's missing here is that melody, let's say, or that secret sauce. And that, the melody for the song, it links your ability to and perform, uh, and also performance. Uh, it links your ability to have um to have the way to sing it the right way or let's say there is nothing broken here nothing you need to repair it just a na it's an a natural act so in order to sing a line you breathe in and then you sing and that's it when you speak it's different right you can even unconsciously you start speaking but automatically you don't realize that you are not having any any volume of air inside your lungs. You just like start speaking, right? And boom, you run out of air and you start blocking. So that secret sauce is uh, that melody. That melody is how you link it. And now if you compare it to my system the system of three stuttering steps that's your secret sauce uh, i will um, explain it again so when you block every time when you block do step number one stop okay because you need to understand the process so stop then after you stop you inhale you breathe in right and then you continue the third step with the next sound and this is how you can repair it because what we are doing here we are not helping you to speak we are not helping ourselves to say something to improve our speech we are repairing the broken the broken uh, link or the or links uh, that melody that broken melody that is not letting us speak fluently because we don't have enough air and that's the issue so now and please understand me correctly as well I'm not again I'm not improving your speech I am helping you to repair your broken breathing habits, not, not even habits, like the patterns, right? Your broken breathing habits. And uh, I want to explain you why the, sing the song is not working and why it is not the right approach to repair your broken breathing uh, pattern. And as I, as I explained it in my first video, very initial one, uh, that um, it's like a CD. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if everybody remembers that, but the CD, if it's broken, it's not working. It's just kind of like spinning, spinning, spinning and not really um, uh, working, right? Or like the, you're installing the program and it's not really installing because something is broken. It's a scratch there on the surface uh, of your CD uh, or something else, right? 
there is a there is a not mistake, but there is a, a damage, right? So that's that's the damage that we are trying to repair. Um, and again, so this is like the three stuttering steps is the first component, right? The second component of this is consistency. That means do not give your mind a break because if you want to fix it, you have to do it every single time. Why? Because if you don't make it a new habit, because in order to fix it, this broken system, you have to make it as a habit. I don't think there is another way. I think it's a habit and this is how you can fix it. When you block every single time, if it's two times inside of one word or inside of one sentence, uh, use the same thing again. This is, this is the system. Uh, just use it. So stop, inhale, and start with the next sound. And that's how it's gonna, it should help you, right? Okay, so this is what I wanted to explain and compare about why it's not working when you sing a song and why you cannot take the same approach. Have a good day.